Sí, de hecho no había escuchado. Is Gunner a snitch? You got damn right you heard when that judge say, Gunner, you in the game? You in the game? He said, yes, your honor. Oh, uh, I lied. I, I lied on some FBI agents one time. Uh, I had got this truck from my homeboy Monk out of West Dallas, then the feds got him. So uh, I went to go get the truck one time and, and this motherfucking FBI agent, uh, Torres, he's getting niggas in the West hell. So them niggas snatch me up, take me down to the parking garage, search me, run their fingers through the crack of my ass. You know how they feel for dope. So nigga, I feel offended like a motherfucker feeling that finger go across my go 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 to them cheeks. You hear me? <laughs> Boy, I felt offended like a motherfucker. Boy, when I got out of jail, I called uh, Senator Royce West. Nigga, I called everybody hollering. They stuck their fingers in my ass. Boy, I lied like a motherfucker. <laughs> Boy, yo, it be. <laughs> I, I don't know what my face was looking like watching that. But this nigga is crazy, bro. <laughs> he be saying some crazy shit. Uh, I would have did the same thing. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's not technically a lie, bro, but it's, he exaggerated the truth a little bit. Because that's, I don't get it, bro. Why you, like, I get it. But niggas be violent, bro. I just, that shit is wop, bro. Shit is wop. That's why I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's wop. I lied and say they took me down to the parking garage to the Dallas headquarters. Uh, chief Conker was the chief at the time. Boy, I raised hell, called a news station. Now, this motherfucker Torres is a highly decorated motherfucking gang unit FBI motherfucker. You hear me? And I lied on this motherfucker. Say he stuck his fingers in my head, feeling for dope. So I done went down to this motherfucker and, 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 First, I called Senator, Senator Royce West's office. They got me in touch with Kelvin Bass. Boy, I get Kelvin Bass a motherfucking story, make everybody damn near jump. Like they, they now just imagine, nigga, I said they stuck their fingers in my ass, feeling for dope in a dark parking garage in the That's headquarter. Crazy. I'm, you know. That's a crazy story, I gotta tell you, right? Not only for, for, <laughs> for him to tell, but if that shit get out to the public, Man, and the fact that he don't got shit to do with nothing. You assert him inappropriately, violating all kinds of fucking rights. And <laughs> probably he took advantage of this old head nigga. You know, I'm hey, trying to get this motherfucker. So, uh, make a long story short, yeah, right they take up. me back to the department and they, they walk, have me walk through the whole motherfucking department where they had me. I spent about seven hours being interviewed. I wrote a 13 page affidavit and uh, I left up out of there saying, yeah, I got that bitch. Uh, only for six months later to be picked up with a Homeland Security warrant. Yeah, they had a bad motherfucking charge on me. Uh, lying on that motherfucking officer. You hear me? They were serious about this shit. <laughs> mm. Say, I was out on bond for about five years. Uh, I went to court, nigga, probably 20 some times. So they get out, they get monk, they get all monk them all this time. And they save my little ass for last. Uh, I fired my lawyers. And I represented my, myself in court. Uh, and I got to cross-examine uh, Torres and everybody involved. They had a, a special US prosecutor, a tall black man that, that was assigned to prosecute the case. Uh, uh, they ended up finding me guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, nigga. They, 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 they ended up finding me guilty, homie. Uh, but I did that. I was doing that out of hate for for law enforcement. Uh, for for what they had done to some friends. Uh, these childhood friends y'all see me with, homie. Uh, but in, in the process of doing that, l let me show you what happened to me. Uh, and this is why I brought that up. You asked me about Gunner. I'm I'm my own lawyer, and I'm representing myself. But I had just started my first semester at, at Texas Western University as a as a pre, as a pre law student. Uh, within during those five years of being out on bond, my life had changed. Um, I had my daughter was born, my daddy had died, so my life had changed. So uh, so when I took the stand, 
I got rolling 60s tattooed on my arm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they got you. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you done. They ain't, yo, they ain't trying to hit nothing. They damn near about to throw you in the case with your homies. Fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I don't get... Never mind, I ain't about to say. I was about to say, I don't get why niggas be getting gang tattoos on them. I get it. You love this shit. You win this shit. They already be knowing who y'all are, bro. Y'all make that shit way easier. And then I heard when you get booked, they take a picture of your whole body all type of crazy. That shit is crazy, bro. Yo, niggas do not tell the good parts. I mean, niggas do not tell the bad parts about Jeff. Niggas only tell you the good parts. You feel me? And it's to me, I don't even see the good parts, but this niggas is good parts. I only see bad shit. You in there, no joints, no females, no female interaction, hella niggas, shit stink. You can't go nowhere. You got to eat, sleep, and shit when they tell you to. You get shitty-ass food. Your bad heart is shit. Uh, niggas be stealing. Niggas be getting killed. Niggas be getting stabbed. Man, crazy shit, bro. Come on. Both of them. So when I took the stand, and so I was really complaining about when they took, before they put me in the car, they took pictures of my tattoos on my arm, pulled my shirt over my head, took pictures of the tattoo on my back. You know how they do you. Pants sagging, pull your pants up real hard, put your drawers all up in your ass. You know, they roughing the nigga up. So uh, that was my opportunity to, to, to try to discredit a, 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 a law enforcement officer because I know if, it, if it's on his record, that's on his record, whether it's true or false. Uh, so they respond, well, nigga, we charging you with, with, with false reporting. Uh, so when I went to trial, uh, I took the stand and, and that motherfucker prosecutor said, so you are, are you in the gang? I said, no, I ain't in no gang. He, he right, cause I'm lying on the gang, on the gang unit slash FBI officer. Uh, when my mother got on the stand, they asked my mother. Have you ever wondered how fast you can make a million dollars? I was able to do it four times this year for myself and over eight times. Is he in the gang? And my mama said, yeah, that boy joined the gang. I said, God damn, mama. You understand? Look, look, so when they found me guilty, the judge looked at it, my mom and said, Mom, I like you. That's what the white man said. Oh, he said, they want me to oh, sentence your son to prison time, but I'm not going to do that. I see he's in college. He said, I'm going to let him finish out his first semester. And he's talking to my mama. Come on, he saw my mother was an honest black woman. Uh. He said, I'm gonna let him finish out his first semester. And then after Mother's Day, I'm gonna let him spend Mother's Day and he can turn himself in after Mother's Day, mom. And then he looked What the fuck? Looked at me. And he said, you know what? You're gonna stop smoking that marijuana. I said, yes, sir. He said, you're not, I know you are, shut up. Uh, and he said, uh, he looked at his court reporter and he said, Lupe, call down to the probation department and have such and such supervisor come down here. Uh, I want this young man mentoring the kids about games. That was part of my sentencing. I want this young man mentoring the kids about games. And I want y'all to put it in his court order because if y'all don't put it in his court order, they ain't going to make him do it. So then the prosecutor said, well, Yana, he lied and such and such. He was involved with the West Side Gator Boy. And he told him, uh, we don't have anything. He told the prosecutor, y'all find something. You mean to tell me this kid, he kept saying young man, kid, is involved with gang unit and this and this, and y'all can't find something to work with this guy? So that, that's eventually how I ended up started working with kids, homie. Mm. So Very interesting story. I was in a situation by myself. I ain't had nobody to tell on. I wish I did. Everybody before. <laughs> yeah, this nigga's a clown, bro. What are you about to say? I was going to tell on everybody? For me, had already been sentenced. Uh, and I had lied on the person who arrested all them niggas. Uh, whenever you stand up in court, homie, and it's more than one of y'all, and you say, I am in the game, homie, that's confessing. That's telling. Uh, uh, people say it's not against the law to be in the game. It is against the law to be a part of a criminal organization. Yeah, crim yeah that's, let's clean that up. It's illegal to be a part of a criminal organization, bro. It's not illegal to be a part of a gang. A gang is something like Alpha Beta, you know what I'm saying? Like fraternities, cops, you can consider gangs, firefighters, you consider it a gang because it's, it's multiple people together in a group. That, that would be considered a gang. Now, 
once you start doing criminal activities, like robbing, stealing, killing, dealing, all this, this shit rhyme. I ain't gonna lie, I might as well be a rapper. The joints do say they like my voice. But those those are now the things that incorporate you into a criminal enterprise or a criminal organization, which indeed which and then entails that you are in that you're doing something illegal. I mean well not not that you're doing something legal, but that 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 gang is now illegal. You know what I'm saying? Once it becomes criminal, once y'all do any criminal activities. So yes, that's the difference, bro. It is against the law to be a part of a criminal organization. Huh? Y'all 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 don't claim yourselves to be a militia. If you had a militia, you had different rights and protections under the law. Mm -hmm. But you are a gang. And 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 and, and, and according to Phone records and evidence, whether we got this evidence legally or illegally, nigga, people have lost lives mm -hmm. due to the name of this gang. Mm -hmm. So when you come to court and they say, well, are you a gang? And you saying you're a part, and you said, yes, nigga, you just told on everybody in their case. Because mm -hmm. what if I'm saying we ain't no gang? Yeah. What if I'm saying we just a rap group, nigga? We a, we a clique. Yeah, man. So, uh, and, 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 and you guys are not. In this RICO case, because uh, y'all are a gang, y'all are in this RICO case because y'all conspire as a gang to make crimes and violent crimes. And, and so, no. Nah. Yeah, that's the part I agree with. He's very, he's very true with that. And that's why I understand why niggas are, are saying that niggas is snitching because you're going against what we're with with your defense or the people that your code your codies are, are trying to trying to say which is no nigga we not a gang this is this is a, a record label we're not into any criminal activity once you say yes we are a gang yes we're going to get like then it's like you kind of telling and then it's like it's not even telling like like i don't think niggas is intentionally trying to tell they're just trying to get out which is understandable it's more pointing the elbow so it's still snitching it's like it's dry snitching as, let's keep it. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. What niggas did when they took the plea shit, it was dry snitching. At the ve at the very least, you niggas gotta accept that. <sighs> These niggas dry snitch, bro. Yeah, it was it was you and Thug in the car with with all those doping guns. Were they was were those your do was that your doping guns? Nah, that wasn't my doping guns. Who the fuck else doping guns was it? If it, if it's only two of y'all and you said it wasn't yours, you're pointing the elbow, my nigga. You it's not mine, but. But I don't know. The fuck? So yeah, that's what's going on, man. It's 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 crazy. Well, it is what it is, man. I don't, I'm I, I don't really necessarily care too much. But man, free slime, free uh young thug, man. Hopefully niggas don't get life, cause man, niggas could do so much more other shit outside of be having life in jail, bro. So yeah, I hope that's not the the case. But yeah, oh yeah, wait, what's some more? I charged this shit, baby. He be saying some crazy shit. I might just pull up some clips.